In the wilderness of northwestern Ontario, the Wabas Gang First Nation has quite literally carved a niche for itself. Seven jobs now, more in the future. The production of Poplar will allow us to run full-time all year round, and as we grow in production, it will mean more jobs as well. Business at Doug Riffle Sawmill is growing, due in part to the success of a Canadian product called Aspenware. These wooden utensils are biodegradable, the brainchild of a man named Terry Bigsby. His BC factory makes the forks, spoons and knives and sells them across Canada and Europe. The product is manufactured in BC, but the wood comes from the poplar trees that surround some of Canada's most isolated First Nations, like Wabas Gang, a unique opportunity that's forged a business partnership. Doing the right thing's never wrong. And, and we believe in, in doing the right thing. Many of Canada's First Nations are so remote there are few jobs within driving distance. Community members either leave home to find work or just don't work at all. Officially, the unemployment rate on reserve hovers around 25 percent. This man, a financial backer of the Aspenware project, says on many First Nations the number is much, much higher. Oh, it's 85 yeah. percent. And, and the narcotic addiction rate is 70 percent and the incarceration rate and it's their, their disaster a lot of our remote First Nations, and this is a business that they can do right in their own backyard. For the people that live here, these trees that regenerate quickly have created steady work and a steady income now and for younger generations. Employment for future people, I guess. The program is expanding. Two more First Nations in the area will begin harvesting wood for Aspenware, and the company sees more jobs on the horizon in Manitoba. It's a growing business that could finally help stifle growing unemployment on Canada's most remote reserves. Jill Makishan, CTV News, Wabasgang, First Nation.